This fish can snipe its food out of the air with a bullet of water. And this chameleon can look in all directions. And it can change its color based on its mood. These sharks have electroreceptors in their face that they can use to detect their prey's heartbeat. And this whale can dive for 90 minutes to 3000 feet while holding its breath. Adaptation is the process by which animals develop traits that optimize them for the environments that they live in. It's an incredible ability that all living things possess that allows them to thrive and survive in some of the harshest environments. The powers of adaptation can create animals like the polar bear that are perfectly adapted to their environment or deep sea animals like this psychedelic medusa. But to understand how an animal like that can come into, come into existence, we first need to understand what adaptation is and why it's important. And in this video, we're going to do just the ouch that. One of the best examples of adaptation can be seen when you look at the tiger. These majestic animals are incredibly well suited to their environment. They have incredible hearing and super sharp teeth and are also one of the most powerful animals on the planet with a bite force that exceeds 1000 psi, that's 700,000 kilograms per square meter. But by far their best adaptation is their camouflage. Tigers are masters of disguise, blending in perfectly with their forest environment. And you might call me stupid for thinking that an orange animal could blend in with a green background. But think again, because their primary prey, deer, can't actually see the color orange. So, when a deer looks at a tiger disguised in a bush, it may not even notice the orange tiger because all it sees is green until of course it's too late and the tiger pounces and crushes the deer's skull. You can see here how drastic the difference is between deer vision and human vision. There are three kinds of adaptation, physical, behavioral and cellular. All three have their own benefits and uses. The tigers we just talked about are a great example of physical adaptation. They've evolved their orange color and black stripes to survive and camouflage specifically in a forest environment. And you might be wondering, well what about white tigers? Well, white tigers went extinct in the wild in 1958. This was mostly due to hunting, but also because white tigers get their color from a rare genetic mutation called leucicism. Leucicistic animals generally have a hard time surviving in the wild because they lack the natural camouflage that their normal counterparts have. In this case, White tigers would have had a hard time ambushing their prey because a deer would have been able to spot it much easier than it would be able to spot a regular tiger. This would have meant that they were less successful than their orange counterparts and therefore less likely to survive. The next kind of adaptation is called behavioral adaptation and to understand it we need to look at one of the deadliest animals in the world, the orca. Orcas or killer whales are some of the most effective predators on this planet. They grow about as big as a school bus and can swim at speeds of up to 45 km per hour. But by far their best adaptation that makes them the most effective predator in the ocean is their ability to work in groups. Orca's group dynamics make them the most feared predator in the ocean and their ability to work together is second only to ours. Both transient and resident orcas work together in pods creating some of the most ingenious strategies in the animal kingdom. They've been known to beach themselves just to catch a meal and use their bodies to create waves that knock seals off of icebergs. They also surgically dissect great white sharks to remove their livers and eat them. All this is possible because of how orcas work together in groups. They are constantly communicating with each other, tracking their prey and forming strategies on the go. They are incredibly intelligent on their own and together they form a unit that's basically unstoppable. Orca behavior has adapted like this because the orcas that worked together in groups were more successful at putting food in their mouths. Because of this, they were the ones that survived and passed their strategies on to the next generation. It's really sad that we keep these amazing cetaceans in captivity. But even there, they've been known to form bonds with their trainers that are almost unbreakable. They learn from and interact with humans in a remarkable way. Even though our two species couldn't be more different, Without their behavioral adaptations, orcas wouldn't be as successful as they are. They're found in every single ocean and hunt everything from whales to sardines and recently even attack human boats. So behavioral adaptation is cool, but there's another kind of adaptation that's even cooler. Cellular adaptation is when animals literally hack biology to give themselves these insane superpowers. One of the best examples of cellular adaptation can be seen when we look at everyone's favorite mascot, the axolotl. First of all, when you look at an axolotl, you might not notice that these guys are actually salamanders. And if you know anything about salamanders, you know that they live out their larval stages in water, but then grow up and go on to land. 
Well, axolotls are different because unlike salamanders, they live their whole lives in the water, never moving on to land. This adaptation came about because the area that they're from, Lake Xochimilco in Mexico, probably didn't have enough resources around it. So when axolotls' ancestors moved on to their adult stage, they couldn't survive on the land. This meant that the axolotls that survived were the ones that stayed in the water and never moved on to land. That alone makes them cool. But axolotls also have another ability that makes them a hundred times more interesting. When an axolotl loses a part of its body, any part of its body, including its brain, stem cells move to the area and form something called a blastema that then proceeds to regenerate the entire part, just like wolverine. This cellular adaptation is absolutely remarkable and one day, through the power of science, may even allow humans to regenerate limbs. Adaptation is the reason that humans are still around and without it, even we wouldn't last long. Nature's ability to adapt and change is what gives us hope that life will press on for a long time coming. The adaptations that animals possess are like superpowers that allow them to thrive in the ecosystems that they reside in. From the depths of the deep sea where animals have evolved in some questionable ways to look like this, to animals of the rainforest, jungles and savannas where the biodiversity that we all know and love thrives. A living thing's ability to adapt to change and persevere against all odds is truly astounding. Thank you so much for watching! <laughs> <laughs>